What's going on YouTube? GS no right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the iOS 14.4.2, 14.4.1, 14.4 and 14.5 jailbreak. So if you're interested in jailbreaking any of these versions, especially on the newer devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 12 and so on, then definitely this video is for you. So three days ago Apple released 14.5.1. Yes, at this point it seems that they just release updates to spite us. But 14.5 is the major update update, you can see in fact that there is basically no difference whatsoever in size. There is a difference for the jailbreak community however, there are a couple of vulnerabilities that have been patched in 14.5.1 and also there are some rumors in the community that 14.5.1 doesn't work with Checkrain for now. While Checkrain supports 14.5, some people claim that it doesn't support 14.5.1. Now I wasn't able to verify this claim so take it as an untrusted unverified claim, but it goes to show that you should probably avoid 14.5.1 for the moment even if you have a Checkrain compatible device. For those of you who don't have a Checkrain compatible device though, the situation is currently like this. We're waiting for Uncover to be updated but before this can happen we need a kernel vulnerability. Well kernel vulnerabilities are no longer what they used to be, TFP0 is no longer around, so kernel vulnerability is no longer exported as they used to do. Now a couple of days ago you probably remember that I made a video in which Frida Sandbox said quote if you want to run an iOS LPE or local privilege escalation, it's probably wise to stay on 14.4.2, which incidentally stopped being signed immediately after they posted this, like in a day or so, which does hint to the fact that Apple is aware of what's going on in the jailbreak community. And they also said, quote, disclaimer, it's silly because it means that you need to stay on a vulnerable version, but it's what it is until Sandbox is freed. However, a day after that, which is bad because many people misinterpreted this, myself included, they posted this, quote, I see a lot of over analysis of this tweet. This tweet is not an advice. We're not going to release an LPE for 14.4.2 anytime soon. Do whatever you want. Most important, have a great weekend. So they're hinting to the fact that they might release something in the future or somebody might release something in the future, but not anytime soon. And even if they wanted, they couldn't. iOS 14.4.2 was signed at the time they made that tweet. So while they could release it because the patch is available, many security researchers won't release an exploit for a version that is still currently signed. Anyways, they do hint to the fact that they may not release anything anytime soon, so we can safely cross them out of the drawing board. Now 14.5.1 and 14.5 as I said are pretty similar and if you want to jailbreak your device anytime soon, it's best to stay on 14.4.2, 14.4.1 or 14.4. Do not update the 14.5 or 14.5.1, both are pretty bad. And the reason for that is that both of them patch vulnerabilities, well 14.4.1 only patches two of them, both of which are in WebKit, which means Safari and stuff like that, but both of them seem to have exploited in the wild, which means that hackers may have used these against their targets in the iOS community without Apple knowing until now. So that's pretty bad, but these vulnerabilities could be usable for a jailbreak, so do not update the 14.5.1. And then of course we have the security content of 14.5, which is huge, it contains a lot of it. I made a video previously a couple of days ago about all the changes in here, but it suffices to say that there are multiple kernel vulnerabilities, including some of them from Pangu team. So remember that if they are in the security content of 14.5, it means that they were patched in 14.5, so they are only available in 14.4.2, 14.4.1 and lower. In this case it goes without saying that the iOS 14.4.2 and lower is the recommended version to stay on. If you have already updated the 14.5, Five or 14.5.1 and your device doesn't support check rain, for example it's not an iPhone 10 or lower, then you're pretty much screwed at this point because you will not be able to downgrade the 14.4.2. It stopped being signed a couple of days ago. But if you're on 14.4, 14.4.1 or 14.2, that's actually great. All of these versions are supported, all of these versions are okay and in fact the advice or whatever information Frida Sandbox gave here still mentions that if you want a jailbreak or LPE, local privilege escalation, which is used in a jailbreak, you should probably stay on 14.4.2. Of course, older is okay as well. However, if you're jailbroken on 14.3 and you're jailbroken either with Uncover or with Taurine, then do keep in mind that if a jailbreak for 14.4.2 gets released, for example, let's say next month, you will be able to update the 14.4.2 from 14.3. There is that bug that somebody found on the Cilio Discord server, which allows you to use that enterprise profile to get updated 
updates long before they stop being signed. However, that only works to go from 14.3 to 14.4.2 and not from 14.5 to 14.4.2. So the bottom line here is that if you want to jailbreak anytime soon, 14.4.2 or lower are currently the best versions to stay on and there is no exploit currently announced to be released. There are a ton of vulnerabilities in 14.5 that were patched, which means that 14.4.2 and lower are prime targets for a jailbreak soon, but you will still need to wait a little bit and do not update the 14.5.1 or 14.5. Yes, there are some security enhancements and privacy enhancements on 14.5 that some people may want, but I would not advise to update just for that. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geos now. Till next time, subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if you like it. Give it a dislike if you don't and peace out.